With all the theme parks and beaches in Central Florida, there's no argument Orange County is part of our Tourism Central. But tourism tax dollars for the county have dropped for the second month in a row. West 2's Michelle Meredith spoke with county leaders about what this means for our economy. Tourism, it's Florida's bread and butter. And for the first time in years, tourist tax dollars coming into Orange County have dropped two months in a row. In April, the county took in over $33 million in tourist development tax. In May, that number went down to $26 million, a $7 million decline in one month. What's happening? I'm concerned it might be the start of a pattern. Orange County's money man, Comptroller Phil Diamond, says after the pandemic, people couldn't wait to travel. The county was setting records. But that eventually, that tourism roller coaster ride had to come down. And, you know, people after they travel, they, you know, you can't travel all the time. It costs money. And then also you need to get time off from work. So I just think that I think things are going to normalize. But Diamond says there is another factor that is not helping. And that's the governor's anti-woke campaign and new state laws. State laws aimed at abortion, immigration, the LGBTQ plus community and black history that some say have alienated groups to the point several have issued travel warnings. Recently, the Orange County Convention Center had another cancellation, the National Society of Black Engineers. And my understanding is their group would have brought about 15,000 people to town and if those people spent a couple thousand dollars each, which is probably probably pretty reasonable, that's $30 million we could have had in our community. A community where many struggled to keep national headlines made by state leaders separate from Orange County. Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.